y'all. This is the tutorial for removing your provisional cast on and getting those stitches back onto your needle. So what I like to do is, I mentioned in the provisional cast on video that I always knot, I put a knot in the end of the yarn that I started on and that lets me know that it's actually the other end of the yarn the yarn that does not have the knot that's where I'm going to start removing my provisional cast on so I'm going to start undoing that crochet chain and you'll see it, it should just slip pretty easily you're going to want to find that first stitch so when you pull up on, on your scrap yarn, you'll see that this first stitch right here is where that provisional cast on begins. So we're gonna continue. That first stitch, you're, gonna, you're going to have to um, pull the yarn, the scrap yarn through the back of that loop that's, this is the only stitch you should have to do that for though. After that, I'm going to pick up the provisional stitch that I'm going to actually be taking out so that it makes it easier to see the stitch that I need to pick up. So I just do that, pulling the yarn all the way out as soon as I get the stitch on the needle. So again, there's my crochet chain stitch. I'm gonna pull up on that. That's gonna show me where my next stitch that needs to go on the needle is. Get that stitch on the needle, pull that stitch out, pick the next stitch up. Put the active stitch on the needle, pull the scrap yarn. Pick the scrap yarn up, put the active stitch on the needle, pull the scrap yarn out. I'll show you one more time. Pick your scrap yarn stitch up, slip that active stitch onto the needle, pull the scrap yarn out. You'll keep doing this until you get to the end. And that is how you remove the provisional cast on either in preparation for grafting your ends together or when you go to bind off that second edge of the standard cowl.